The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. My mother told me this many years ago. To the people, Kavalga story. There's this lady in Yushalayim. She grew up with a, with a father who was always the kind of father. Some people are into yard sites. Yard sites of Gedoylem, you know? Like every day they come and they say, Today's the Yisvach Moshe's yard site, Rabbi Levi Yisvach yard site, Vashentav's yard site, this one's yard site, that one. Some people are into this. And this father, every day, would come home to his family at breakfast time and he would say to the Mishpacha, Today's yard site is the Naim Alimelech. Today's yard site is Gushas Levi. Today's yard site is, What are we going to do for the Neshama of the Tzadik? And they would go around the table and ask each kid, What are you going to do for the Neshama of the Tzadik? And this kid would say, Today I'm going to learn a Mishnah. Or this kid would say, I'm going to not hit my brother. Or this kid would say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Beautiful. And that's what he did every day. He would go around. It was very nice. And that's how she grew up. When her father passed away. So she's in her own house now. She's already married. She has kids of her own. And she says to herself, you know what? Who says, I can't do this in my own house. But maybe instead of just doing it for other good maybe I could do it for my father also. Just like he taught us to do it for other gedolim, I could do it for him. So she starts going around the house. And everything she does, she says, I'm cleaning up the house. Everybody should have a clean house. So my father's neshama should have an aliyah and shemai. I'm cooking lunch so that my kids should be able to learn Torah. So my father's neshama should have an aliyah and shemai. And she would go around the house doing this, giving her father these little gifts, these little special presents. It was right before Yom Tov. When she gets a phone call at 6 in the morning, the phone rings. You can imagine, six, usually the phone doesn't ring at 6 in the morning. Although last night, it was 1.30 in the morning and the phone rang. I was very surprised, like, who's calling me at 1.30 in the morning in Farakaway? Like, who's calling me, you know? I thought maybe it's an emergency marriage to Israel. So I quickly answer the phone and somebody goes, Yanko? <laughs> Not wrong number. Okay. Anyway, so it's 6 o'clock in the morning and... She answers the phone. So her sister's on the phone and the sister's hysterical. She says, what's wrong? Why are you so, what's going on? So the sister says, she's crying. She, she's mom is hysterical. She says, calm down. What's going on? She says, I have to tell you what happened. I wanted to call you already three hours ago, but I knew you wouldn't appreciate it. So I held out. I had a dream, she says. I had a dream and our father came to me in a dream. His face was shining. He was in white. He looked like a malach. And I see him and he says to me, he called me my name, he says, whatever her name was. He says, how come you're not coming to shul to say Yisker for me? So I said, because I'm about to have a baby. I, can really, I can't really walk. He said to me, I hear you, I hear you, but you don't understand how neshamas and shemayim wait all year long for the people to come say Yisker for them. You don't understand. If you would understand, then you would come I understand you, but you don't understand what it means for us. So she said, okay, if, that's, if it's that, that's the case, then I'm going to come. No matter what, I'll come. And then he says to his daughter, do you know your sister gives me little gifts? And then he disappears. And I'm left at 5, 4.30 in the morning trying to figure out what little gifts you give our father. So I, at, I held out till 6. And now at 6, and I wake you up and I say, tell me what? Little gifts are you giving our father? So this girl, this woman was trying to figure it out. It took her a while to figure it out. But eventually she said, I understand. You know what it is? I go around the house and she started explaining. I go around the house and I do this and I make soup and I clean the house. And I, everything I do, I say, it should be an alias the Shama for our father. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.